You guys already know what time it is. It's $20 Walmart challenge time. All right, everybody, we are back at Walmart. You guys know what time it is. We've been waiting for a very, very long time to do one of these challenges. It's time for Nick and I to complete the $20 Walmart challenge. You guys have probably seen us do these in the past. If you haven't, make sure to check those out as well. The reason we've been waiting is just because we didn't want these challenge videos to be the entire basis of our YouTube channel, but honestly, guys, we read the comments that you guys give us. We know that you guys absolutely love these videos. So we're back here at Walmart. We are out here to do it again. Three years ago today, we filmed our very first $20 Walmart challenge, the very first $20 Walmart challenge on YouTube for fishing, and it absolutely blew up. So we are back here today. Nick and I are gonna be completing another one of these challenges. It should be fun. Prices look like they've gone up a little bit, so this one's gonna be even more difficult, but I think Nick and I can do it. We've become experienced over the years, so we're gonna dive right in. We're gonna find a couple different rods, reels, fishing lures, fishing line, all that stuff for under a $20 budget. Let's do it. So Nick and I have taken a few minutes here to kind of scan over every single thing in the fishing department, figured out what we want to use, or what tactics we're going to be going for. Nick and I's strategy is going to be a little bit different. Now Nick and I are going to be versing each other. Obviously we each get $20 for ourselves and we're going to see who can come up with the best combination of equipment to catch the most amount of fish during a time limit out on the lake. So. What I've selected, first thing I'm going to do is grab a rod. So the one that I found that I think is the best deal right here, if I can get it out, is a $9.88 rod and reel combo from Zebco. I think this is going to be my weapon of choice. There's some really chintzy line on here, so we might take a look and see if we can upgrade that a little bit. Okay, so we're looking over all the different types of line, and um, there's some decent deals, but not exactly what we're looking for. We are looking for braided, and the cheapest stuff I'm finding is the spider wire for $9.94. That's way out of our budget, so I have another idea. So for my idea of fishing line, we're in the health and beauty department. We are not getting toothpaste, but we are getting some teeth cleaners. This is dental floss. 55 yards of mint waxed reach dental floss for a whopping 97 cents. So we're gonna go ahead, throw this on the old spinning reel combo. Hopefully this works. Now that I've got my fishing line, I've got my rod, we're gonna go through, select a couple different baits. First thing I'm seeing here is the juice, the good old booyah frog. We're gonna do some top water. The old pop and pad crasher. All right, that's going in the cart. Next thing, if you look down here, there's this little box. I've actually ever, never seen this company before. It's called Cream. Uh, they're $1.25. Now we gotta find some hooks. So we've got some offset hooks here. These are 88 cents for a pack. So I've got about a dollar left. I'm gonna grab probably a spinner bait for a dollar. For one dollar, we've got a white and blue spinner bait. That is gonna do the trick. I'm gonna put all of this into the cart. And now it's time for Nick to figure out what he wants to use if he thinks about beating me. It's not gonna happen. Okay, so for my rod, I am not in the fishing department. I'm by the mosquito spray. I don't know why there's rods here, but this one caught my eye. It is 1388. The reason I'm picking this one over the one that Brandon went with is because it is a little bit longer and it's got a little more backbone. Not much, as you can see, but it is a little bit something better. So this is the one I'm going with. So my idea for fishing line is we are actually in the sewing department. We have done this challenge before. We have used sewing thread for our fishing line and it is actually a super good alternative and it is extremely cheap. This stuff right here is actually the most heavy duty. This is what we actually used in our thread challenge video and it never broke. So this is what I'm gonna be using on mine and it comes in at a whopping $1.44. So this is an extremely low budget cost versus the braid for $10. Okay, so now that I got my rod, reel, and line, I am left with about $5. So obviously I went with a little more expensive stuff so I'm not working with much here. But for what I picked out, for what I'm doing today, I am using sewing thread, so it's gonna be a little bit heavier. My goal is to hopefully do a little bit of top water fishing. They got one from Ozark Trail. This is two and a half inch floating frog. I don't know how good this is, but it is $1.94. So that is a good price that I like to see. 
going to be going with this. That leaves me with about three dollars. So I'm going to go over here. I'm also going to do a spinner bait for one dollar. I'm just going to pick this one. Looks pretty good. Green and orange. And then, let's see, that's a dollar. So I'm left with what? Two dollars Less left. Less than two dollars. And I'm going to go with not Sankos, but I'm going to go for a trailer on the back of this. Ooh, that's I a move. I was sorting through this before, and I found this right here. This is a four inch twin tail trailer in white. I'm going to pair that on the back of it. And that leaves me with about 50 cents, and there's nothing here that's 50 cents. So that's what I'm going to end up doing. Toss that in the cart. We are ready to go. We each have our $20 worth of fishing equipment and now we're gonna go check out we're gonna hit the lake and we're gonna see who's gonna win this challenge all right guys we just got to the lake it's looking gorgeous out here little windy little windy I'm not gonna lie but there are so many pads out there look at the amount of lily pads that goes all the way up and around oh my gosh I am so glad that we got some top water baits because uh, whoo, the pads are looking juicy, guys. It's really windy, so this is going to be a little bit difficult for us, I think, today. But we're going to try and make the most out of it. It's going to be challenging, but I think we've got it. We've got the John boat here. We've got our stuff in here. We're going to go ahead, get rigged up, and then basically we're going to do a two-hour challenge. It's almost 6 o'clock in the afternoon. We're going to fish from 6 o'clock until 8 o'clock. And I think we're gonna go with whoever has the most fish wins. Just to prove to you guys that we're actually using sewing thread and dental floss, this is me spooling it onto the reel right now. I must say, this stuff actually looks really good. And we got 50 yards of it. And like I said, when we did this last time, I did not break off at all. This stuff actually works tremendous. And like I said, it's only $1.50, so. This is gonna be a power move and hopefully uh, it's what I can do to absolutely destroy Brandon in this challenge today. So we just got out onto the water, just got to the first spot. We are going to start this challenge. The timer is gonna start right now. We're gonna switch over to the GoPros and we're gonna see who can catch the most fish in two hours. I'm starting with Topwater, he's starting with the Wacky Rig. Let's get after it. Ooh, okay, dental floss. Interesting. Ooh. Ooh. Absolutely terrible cast. First cast with the sewing thread into the lilies. I'm expecting a blow up in about five minutes. I don't know if I'll be able to get them in, but that's what we will see. Oh my God. I just got freaking destroyed. I completely missed them though. <laughs> oh okay the wax is starting to stick i think i put too much line on here it's not looking good fish oh, fish no. is on there still too first one come on baby look at that bend come on Come on. Go for the boat flip. Whoa. There we go. Oh, okay. That one didn't hit it nearly as aggressive as the other ones. But hey, this is a dollar fifty popper. And I'm actually extremely impressed with the action. The body's super light and it uh, exposes the hooks really good. Got the good hook set on that one. First one. Brandon, how's it feel to know that you're already losing? Um, I'm not too worried. Not too worried. I'm going to get a release on this one. See if I can get some more fish. Another fish. The fact that that fish hit that okay. actually blows my mind. <laughs> super super tiny fish but hey we aren't doing a size so that's good I'm, enough for me that's number two dude, i'm getting frustrated guess what it's number two brandon and uh, i've had three other hits and you're lucky i didn't catch those either you can't even cast so the I dental don't... floss 
has never done this to me before. Meanwhile, I'm having absolutely no problem casting a sewing thread. It is doing wonders out here. Come on, if I could just catch. Oh, 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 huge fish just tried to hit me. Huge. I got him. It looked big. I got him. Okay, here we go. We're really putting the Zebco to the test now. It's a decent one. Wow. Come on, baby. That was awesome how it just swarmed after that thing. There we go. Come on, get up here. Oh, come here. Come here, big girl. Lost the Senko. That's not good, but a fish is a fish. That's a nice one there. Oh, that sucks. I lost the Senko, but hey. First fish. Now it's one to two, and I'm coming for you. See you later, buddy. Yes! All right, so as you can tell, I have switched over to the frog. I think this is gonna work a little bit better just because it's a little bit heavier. I really wanna break in this line. Going with the dental floss may or may not have been a move. I haven't used the spinner bait yet. I feel like I should probably use it, but I don't know, top water is just so tempting. I feel like I should have spent my money wisely and definitely gone with the sewing thread over the dental floss. Tried to save an extra 50 cents, but I really didn't need to, so. We're gonna make the most of it, break in this fishing line and see if we can get hooked up. Come on, baby. Got him, oh, look at that. Oh, and he came off. Whoo, man. That would have been for the tie. Oh my god, there it is. There's that hit I was looking for, it just came off. Son of oh, 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 that one hurts. That was a nice fish, actually. He demolished it. Well, that's what happens when you're using a cheap, flimsy spinning rod. Not really the setup I would target, you know, when I'm topwater fishing. <sighs> that sucks. That sucks. And then I would have been two up on you and I'd be feeling pretty good about that. Oh my god. Dang it. That one came up and tried to just smack it. He ripped it right along the side of it. I watched him. That sucks. We're gonna see if we can get him. He completely missed it, so he might he might almost go again. No. Oh, he spit it. Oh, that was at the worst time too. I went to step forward to kind of turn my body and he smacked it right as I took a step. Wow. Oh, I bet you that's that same fish just sitting right in here in the shallows. Oh, ooh. I'm going to catch you. I'm going to catch you. Just got to make this happen. Like the joint is like you just never know when you're there it is never know this one's definitely a smaller one but pulled one off of that shoreline we'll flip them yeah that one wanted the frog bad that one it hit at least one other time though, i think oh my goodness hey here's the thing do you want to go back in the water buddy you're gonna need to stop. There we go, just a little guy. Definitely smaller than the first one. See you later. Do I have a fish? You better hope not, but I might. I swear I had a fish. Oh baby, that's what I'm talking about. Absolute brute. That's <laughs> worth the lead. Oh my god, what the heck is wrong with me catching these, but I'm missing all of the giant fish that are hitting. But that one will get hooked on this. Well, my GoPro died, but that ain't stopping me from catching fish. Oh boy, can we get them through the lilies? Look he dug at that deep. Rod he bound. dug deep. Ooh, I just want to break this rod. It might actually just break. Come on, baby. 
There he is. Get him up. Oh, that was risky. Got him on the topwater frog. Glad I switched over. It's getting a lot easier to cast this now. That is fish number three for Brando. See ya, buddy. Thanks for stopping by. See ya. All right, guys. So we just checked the time. It is currently 7.58. So we have two minutes left. If we do not have a fish by 8 o'clock, we're just going to have to keep on fishing because Nick and I are tied three to three. So we're going to fish and next one to catch one wins. I think it's going to be me. I think you're wrong. No. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Take advantage. Brandon is retying quick. I have to take advantage of this situation and catch this fish to win it. Broke me. Broke my, oh my. Well, if that just doesn't piss a guy off. That was a good one. That was a good one. That was for the win. That was my only frog. I'm so pissed. That's a big one. God, we cannot lose this fish. I don't care if I break this rod. I'm just keeping as much tension as possible. This is for the win, too. I literally cannot do anything with that spinner. God, I hope he doesn't come off. I feel like I'm just going to snap this rod in half. Oh, God. He's still on. Yeah, he's still on. It's a big one, I think, too. Oh, boy. He is buried under there, but it's big. Got him. Come on, baby. There we go. Oh. I thought that was going to be an absolute giant. It's not a bad one. So many weeds in here. Oh my gosh, she crushed that thing. Came up outside of the water. But that's definitely not a bad fish. Not a bad way to end the night. Oh man. Oh, I was so scared. But hey, we did it. The dental floss held up. Uh, overall, it was a lot of fun. Got out here and grinded. Caught my fourth fish. I'm pretty happy. Uh, it was tough. This was a lot of fun. This was very tough on us, but we did it. We ended up catching a total of seven fish within about a two hour period. We're gonna go ahead, pack everything up here. We are gonna head to shore and we'll see you guys at the landing. Boom. Okay, well, we're at the landing. I'm extremely disappointed in how today went for me. I had so many opportunities to absolutely destroy Brandon. You know, I just, I don't know what it was. I could not hook the fish today. I would have ended up with like 10, 10 to his four. Like I would have just blown him out of the water and then I end up losing my frog in the very like last five, 10 minutes of the day, which is when the top water is like perfect. Yeah, and it would have been on the biggest it, fish too. on the biggest fish of the night, <sighs> proving that uh, the stuff is not irresistible to snap offs. It did do a very well job for being only a dollar and a half. Yeah. And I mean, I had like 10 fish and they didn't, it didn't snap. Honestly, it could have been frayed a little bit from the yeah. fish that I did catch, but very impressed with what I, we got today. Yeah, I would have rather had what you had, definitely. I the mean- The Sanko was okay. Yeah, the Sanko was okay, caught that one. I mean, obviously that one wanted it real bad. I thought I was actually gonna have more luck than I did using the Senko, but when I switched over the top water, what I realized is because of the rod and reel combo that I bought, I definitely would have been better off going with what Nick had because it was a little bit longer, not by yeah, much. I but had a little more backbone. Yeah, a little bit more backbone, was a, little a little more bit longer. Flimsy, but yeah. he ended up beating me, so I guess it doesn't really matter what the heck he got. It, it worked for him, so. Yeah, it, it came down to the wire, that's for sure. So, hey buddy, good fish off. Thanks. But, I'm taking this one, taking the W home, so it feels good. Instead of getting eaten alive here, I think we're gonna go ahead, pack everything up, but we just wanted to say thank you guys so much for joining us today. I'm not gonna make Nick do anything too bad. I mean, I could make you stand here, hold the camera. And this watch camera's you heavy, I'm not gonna lie. Getting eaten alive, it's kind of funny. But uh, no, we're gonna go ahead, wrap everything up. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to give a big old thumbs up on the video and maybe comment down below what you guys would like to see us do in the next one for if the loser obviously doesn't come away with a W because we could make Nick do something bad. Yeah. So let's come up with some ideas of what you guys want to see Nick do on the next one. We're certainly going to get back into the grind doing more of these challenges. because yes. We know half of our subscribers or more have come from our $20 Walmart or just our challenge videos yeah. in general. You know, me versus him, we're getting out here doing funny, stupid stuff. I kind of forgot how fun they are, actually. Yeah, it's been so long. I mean, over two years since we were our last one and 
it, it was fun. It yeah. was a lot of fun. It was a good time getting out here tonight. So thank you guys again so much for watching. If you liked, leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below what you guys enjoyed. Again, if you guys want to see more of our content, subscribe and also reach out to us on Instagram. We've had a few people reaching out to us there. If you guys want to fish with us, see some of the behind the scenes type stuff, go ahead, follow us on Instagram, nb.edits. Again, until next time guys, tight lines from NB Edits. Booyah!